Hi there everyone, today I am back with another tutorial for you guys. This time I will be showing you, how I create fur in Blender. With this tutorial, you will be able to create realistic fur for any of your model. I will be showing you hair grooming and materials in this video, if you want to learn some basics, go to this video first. So without wasting any time let's get started. So this is our model, very cute right? For creating fur, we first need to add a vertex group. The vertex group will tell, how much area we need to cover in fur. We will create different vertex groups for each parts. Okay so first, we will create the fur for his head. Let's create the first vertex group. Name it, head. Then select the head polygons, like I am doing. You can select an edge loop and then hide it with H key, and then select some polygons and then hit L to select the whole part. And then, hide those as well, and unhide everything to see the selection. You can see some inner mouth vertices were also selected, I don't need those, as because fur doesn't grow there, so deselect those. Remove the subdivision modifier to see the vertices better. When the selection is done, hit assign to full weight. Now create the particle system, from the particles tab. I am naming it to head. Rename all where it should be, I don't know why particle names in all these three locations are not synced. Now select the hair. You can assign the vertex group, here. I am scaling down the length of these particles. Because it doesn't have long hairs on his face. Giving 5000 particles. I think I missed something. Oh yes, I don't want hair at the eyelids, so what I am gonna do is, selecting these polygons and remove the weights from the vertex group. I think I need to remove one more outer edge loop. Remove that as well from the vertex group. I am changing the particle number to 8000. Blender is very bad at distribution of particles. So we have to add particles where we need, like this area, his mouth. It has very little amount of particles. To add particles, select this brush. Hit N to show its properties. Let's set the count value to 1, and add the particles where you need. Just click click and click. Now it's okay, let's start grooming. A tip here, the flow is very important in order to get realistic fur. See references of cats and rabbits to know the flow of hair. I think, I was looking at cats, while grooming his fur. One more important thing, fur is not uniformly long on any animal. There always have variations. Like on the mid of his face, it will have short hairs, and the hairs which are further will be longer. So, in order to shrink or grow the hair, use this brush. Setting the option to shrink, and start shrinking the particles. Again, you can see the references for this as well. I am shrinking the middle part hairs only.
Back to grooming the fur more. So, it is it for the grooming, we will adjust later when we need. Now let's adjust some particle settings. If you are thinking that the particles are very few, these are just the guide particles, we need to add the children particles to make the fur coat. So select the interpolated children mode. Let's increase the display amount. I think 100 amount will be good for the final render. For the smoothness, check this B spline. I want to see the fur in render mode, so I am setting up the hair shape settings. Lowering the diameter root. Let's first enable the GPU rendering mode. I want to see the fur only, not the mesh also. This model which I have, has already a body material. So I am creating a separate material for the fur. Let's name this, Pikachu fur. Importing the same color map for the fur for now. This material is just for testing purpose, I will show the final materials later. And now, what I am going to do is, detach every node in the Pikachu body material. So that it will appear black, and I will able to see the fur better. Oh, I forgot to assign the new material to the hair particle. Go to the particle tab, and under the render option, you will find something called, material. Assign the new material here. Now you will able to see that fur. Hmm, it's not looking too good to me. No worries, we will adjust it. First of all, lower the display amount, so that it doesn't lag when we groom it. I think I had shrinked these particles too much. So let's regrow back them. I am growing all the particles overall. Also, the grooming of his lower mouth is not good as well. The flow should be straight. Let's enable the children from the option. Oh my god it's lagging too much. Better to uncheck that. You can select particular set of particles, to groom the selected one only. Okay, so now the flow looks okay to me. Oh, 
There's a patch here. Maybe it is because of the low poly mesh. It is something wrong there. We will adjust it, but first let's increase the step size for better hair resolution. I am setting 4 in the render, and to see in the viewport, value of 3 is fine. Readjusting the settings of hair shape for more thinner hairs. And now the roughness part. Which is an important part to get great fur. Not everything is perfect, there has to be some imperfections. So our Pikachu is not combing his fur daily, which makes his fur looks very clean and uniform. There has to be some roughness. So under roughness settings, I am giving some amount of random. Oh, this is too rough. Pikachu is not clumsy too. Lower the amount. Maybe very little amount will help us. and adjust the size and threshold, giving 0.25 value, which means 75% of hair have the roughness value. And now let's fix the patch issue we are facing. I am adding some extra particles to this part to fill up the patch. Let's add some more where I find the need. Select all the new particles, and groom them. The patch is still there, what the patch? Oh I figured that out, it was because some particles are groomed in the opposite direction, so they are creating a hair partition. No worries let's groom them all in the same direction. And now it's fixed. Some small tweakings here and there. So, it's done for the head part. Now we will move to our second vertex group, which is for long hairs, around his head and neck. So I created the vertex group name Head Long. And now select the vertices. I have assigned weights to neck edge loops, and now paint some more vertex in weight paint mode. You can blur the selection with this blur brush.
The vertex group is done. Now I will move to the particle system. Add a particle system with the same name. From here, I will show all the hair particles in grooming quickly. Because these are very repetitive process. Same, select the hair, assign the vertex group and lower the length. I will use these particle system with clumping values, so I just quickly enable interpolated, and set the clump to 1, to see how many particles do I need for good clumps. I think 1500 is good. Enable the B spline and steps to 4, and also in the viewport. I am looking the head particles also to see the blending of the hair, and don't forget to assign the correct material. Now start the grooming. Again lagging too much, better to hide the head particles. These particles should be very fluffy and soft hair. Always experiment with the length of the strands. Changing the distance value to maintain a good gap between the particles and the mesh. Now grooming is over, let's adjust some children settings. Enable the interpolated and increase the display amount. See in render view how many particles do you need for your final render. Changing the diameter under the hair shape for thinner hair. I am again changing the length of the particles because they seems very long to me. My best tip for you guys is to just relax and take your time to improve your groom, never satisfy with the result, always tweak it for better. I am looking what amount of particles will go better. Okay, I am not much satisfied with this result but let's just adjust some clumping and roughness settings. What I think is, it will look better if I remove the weights from his head more and mostly stick on the neck part. I am doing this because these clumps are not looking great on his head.
I had used ALT plus B to isolate this part. Ok I am satisfied with the groom for now, now jump to the roughness settings. Experiment with the settings and see what comes best. I think the neck part is also done. Let's jump to the third vertex group, which is for the front body. I am using weight paint mode to select the vertices for this vertex group. Now same as before, add the particle system, set it to hair and assign the vertex group. Assign the material, check B spline and give 4 steps in render and viewport. Lowering the length, give good amount of particles, and enable interpolated and clumping to 1. I think 3000 particles will look good for this. Now start the grooming. I am fast forwarding it, these are very repetitive process. After grooming, change the hair shape settings, and then adjust the children settings like clumping and roughness. And see what suits the best. This is all about experimenting different values and see what look best on it. After some tweakings and adjustments, this part is done, let's move to another. This time to add the vertex group for the arms. Select the arms only, I am not selecting the hands in this because on those I will not use the clumping values. I am time lapsing this part. This is also done. Let's make the vertex group for the hands. These particles should have short hair, and should not have any clumping values.
making the ending hair particles longer, to blend with the arm particles better. After grooming adjust the children's settings as before. With the same exact method, make the fur for the legs also. Now I am jumping on the ears. Make the vertex group for it, and start creating the particle system. Give a good amount of particles and assign the vertex group, lower the length. Assign the material, enable B-spline, and 4 steps in render and view port. And now, start the grooming. For this I had looked the references of the rabbits. After grooming, adjust the settings of the children particles. Give roughness, clumping values. The head, the ears, front body, hand and legs are done. With the same method used in front body, make fur of the back part as well. Now it's time for the tail. For the tail, I had seen the references from the movie Detective Pikachu. Same thing here, made the vertex group, create the particle system, assign the vertex group, lower the length, give a ton of particles because we want clumps in this, and don't forget to assign the material as well. I was facing an issue there. I had given a ton of particles but still it seems very little. When I remove the vertex group, the distribution of particles are way more in the body as compared to the tail. I was wondering why it's happening. Then I figured it out that the tail is much low poly than the body, maybe that's the issue. So, to fix that, I go under source. And then increase this particles face value. And after increasing it, I am able to set low number of particles. Then I set the children to interpolate it, and give the clump value of 1. And lower the number. Okay, now jumping in the particle edit mode, but before grooming, let's shape the particles with the length brush, short hair in the initial and long at the end. What I have done in the tail is, select the upper half of the particles and groom the flow in the upper direction, and then selecting the lower half and groom them in the flow of lower direction. As you can see, I am grooming the upper half particles. and then groom the lower half.
After grooming give the clumping and roughness values. Our grooming stuff is done, now I will move to the material part, but first, I want to show the color maps which I am using. So here's as you can see, the left one is the color map for the body which had the nose and eyelid color as well, and the other side we have the color map for the fur only, which doesn't have any nose and eyelid color information. Now create the fur material. I am adding the principal shader node and plug that into a material output node. Now add your image texture and plug that into the base color socket. Here I am adding a hair info node. Let me share you, why I am adding this. It has an intercept option, which allow me to add two color for the bottom and tip of a hair strand. So what I am going to do is, add a mix node, plug the intercept to the factor of mix node, and plug the color map to the upper socket, and add a curves adjustment node, bump the curve a little and plug that in the lower socket. Now adjust some settings in the principal node. Make roughness to 0.65. Clear coat roughness to 1, and clear coat to 6. Now I want to add some amount of translucency to the material. So add a translucent shader. Plug the color information. Add an add shader node. Plug both the translucent shader and the principled shader to it and plug the output of the add shader to the material output node. You can see we are getting red-orange color from translucency, but we need just a little of it. So add a mix shader. Plug the principled shader in the lower socket and add shader in the upper socket, and give the factor amount of 0.9. This way we will get some amount of translucency. Now we have to add one more thing. I want some of his hair have white color. So I am adding a mix node here. And add a noise texture. Bump up the size to 500. And add a color ramp. Plug the factor in the color ramp. And control click on color ramp to see the result from this node only. You can see some particles are dark and some light. Let's contrast it. Bring black slider close to white. Now you can see few of them are white. Now the output of the color amp will plug into the factor of the mix node. And this color is the color for those few hair. Let's make that white. Now that's done. So this is it for now. Go and try this in your own models. Maybe you will get more good results than me. One more thing. The character creation course of this model is releasing soon. I will let you know when the editing is done. For now, hit a like to this video if you find this helpful and subscribe the channel for more. Yeah.